That was quite a plot you kids uncovered. Who would have suspected Masters of dog-napping his own pet? He decided to win the dog show by dog-napping the only three dogs who could beat Big Red. Then Big Red was to turn up just before the show and win first prize. You said something about a phantom Indian on horseback. What about that? Simple. He used a movie projector from the back of his truck. Look! Geronimo! He's back again! <laughs> <laughs> and all the time, it was Wickles who made that Black Knight come to life. Then there was no legend. Positively not. Wickles just used the story to cover up my mysterious disappearance. Somehow, he managed to get into the armor down at the train station. And like on the way to the museum, he made you disappear. <laughs> Zoinks! He's alive! <laughs> Scooby Doo! <laughs> hey, listen to this, gang. Teenage sleuths solve boat hijacking mystery. Captain Cutler and his wife taken into custody by sheriff. That was some plan they had. First spreading the phony story about Cutler, and then stealing the yachts from the marina. That night on the beach, Cutler was storing extra scuba tanks in the graveyard of the ship. Yeah, but like his diving suit got covered with that kooky glowing seaweed. And that's where the glowing ghost story came from. Well, that closes the mystery. <laughs> Do that. I guess that's another mystery. <laughs> He had the exact location laid out on a map. Then he, like, hid the map in the cigar store Indian for safekeeping. Too bad. We could have been partners. Now, instead of being rich, he's in jail. Hey, like what happened to Scooby? There he is. Scooby, look out for that gopher hole! <laughs> Scooby, oh! One of those apples better be for me. <laughs> Where does the swami come in? What better way for a swindler to disappear? Uncle Stewart, why did you do it? Well, I guess he can explain it to the sheriff when he gets here. I bet you kids are starving. Groovy! Zoinks! That's for me! <laughs> hey, what's this? Scooby-Doo was here. The whole turkey? Gone? <laughs> well, Scooby-Doo! <laughs> but there's still one thing unsolved. What happened to the real mummy? <laughs> Zoinks, the m m m m m mummy! Ruby <laughs> Roo! <laughs> found the mummy! Well, gang, I guess that wraps up the mystery and the mummy, too. Ruby <laughs> Roo! Well, I can't thank you kids enough. Shaggy should get most of the credit. Where is Shaggy? Oh, no, not again. Looks like Shaggy wants to try for the ape-man role in the picture. Surprise! <laughs> but there's Scooby-Doo in the other chair. Surprise! It's the Scooby hat the ape-man was wearing. <laughs> now there's real talent. <laughs> we sure fooled him, Scooby. We ought to be in the movies. Yeah. Ruby Dooby Doo! <laughs> you kids deserve a lot of credit. This town's been flooded with phony 20s for weeks. Oh, it was nothing, really. But old Mr. Pietro, posing as a doorman, sure had us fooled for a while. He really gave himself away when he put on his little puppet show for us. The real hero is Scooby-Doo. Uh, by the way, where is he? Oh, no. Look at him. 
Like I said before, what a ham. Ooby, ooby, ooby. Ship. And everybody knows when dry ice mixes with water, it makes a real spooky fog. Show them, Scooby. Sure ended in a dandy mystery. What's Scooby doing? Oh, he's still fishing. Oh, come on, Scoob. Give up. You're not gonna catch anything in that bucket of water. That's one fish story no one will believe. <laughs> Shaggy and Scooby sure were mysterious about this big surprise they have for us. I hope Scooby doesn't try that high wire act again. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting that Hercules among strongmen, the man with muscles of steel, Samson the Super. If he can lift that, he is Samson. <laughs> Yeah! 